Hello, it's me. I'm eating cake. Why am I eating cake? We had cake in the house, so I had a slice. It's good. In terms of fun life update stuff, uh, I bitched last stream. Hi Tim, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. I bitched last stream about a lot of things, but one thing I bitched about was that uh, the wallet that I ordered on Amazon came, and it was the wrong color, so I sent for a refund. I'm lamenting my choice to play Yu-Gi-Oh! That sounds about right. Oh, man. Went to a hobby shop the other day, and I saw a $300 statue of uh, Obelisk the Tormentor. And it looks sick. Not $300 sick. But, you know. First major tournament after this new product has a top 32 where 81% of the players are on the same deck. Not the same deck list, but the same strategy. Okay. 
in my head, it was even funnier to imagine that everybody was using the exact same cards and that there would be a very high likelihood of um, the finals just being mirror matches. Most of the cards are the same. <laughs> also, it being very luck dependent. In my head, like, I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. I didn't really think about meta or strategy. And I stopped after GX. So I don't really know what has changed since then. I know a lot has. I've read the cards. They're confusing as all get out. But, like, my main experience in competing in, like, actual competitive or ranked card games um, has always been in Hearthstone. Which, yeah, it's been a bit. The people they pay to break down what is happening don't know what's happening. That sounds about right. Well, you see, you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You're supposed to explain what the cards do every time you play them. That's what the anime did. But, yeah, the point I was getting to was that in competitive Hearthstone, most players, if they don't win within the first two or three turns, quit. So I'm just imagining that happening at professional tournaments for for Yu-Gi-Oh. Just like, you didn't get the hand you wanted, so you just forfeit. Only reason... <laughs> it's not draw dependent. It's mill dependent? <laughs> oh god. That sucks. You know... High-level card game play is always going to be intimidating to me, regardless of what card game it is. I'm just playing a super unfun deck that has a lot of floodgates, so I'm fine. <laughs> I show up at the tournament. My entire deck is Gravity Bind and Boganian. <laughs> oh, you destroyed my Gravity Bind. Here's another gravity bite. <laughs> that used to be my strategy as a kid. Because uh, during the God Saga, once after Merrick revealed some of the cards, like Merrick's deck was a big one that, that showed up a lot. And I had a few friends who had Inaba White Rabbit, and that was one of my favorite cards with Boganian. And using that in combo with Gravity Bind... I also had a, uh, I was going for a water deck for a while, because one of my friends traded me a Shonen Jump exclusive card, which was Warrior of Atlantis, which I think automatically adds, uh, Mako to your deck, or to your hand. The field card, the water field card. And, uh, it was during GX. Oh, it adds Legendary Ocean, that's it. It was during uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, so I had the Water Dragon uh, strat. I, I loaded my deck with Hydro Gedon and Oxy Gedon and Water Dragon. Uh, but I was using... I was basically just, like, picking apart the old, like, Water Starter deck that they released at the time.
Legendary Ocean is always treated as Umi, so Warrior of Atlantis can't add Legendary Ocean. Ah, okay. Um, one of the things that came in that starter deck, there was another interesting one. Uh, there was a Magician deck as well. I remember buying the starter decks because that's what I used my allowance on. Uh, the one distinct thing that I remember that was actually good about the Magician deck... I mean, it came with a bunch of the more useful Magician cards. It had uh, the library. Um, it had a bunch of the ones from the anime. But one of the best things that it had was a non-shiny Magic Cylinder. Because anytime one of my friends had a hollow Magic Cylinder, it, that was theirs. <laughs> yeah, Royal Magic Library. Listen, I haven't played in years. Most of the cards that I like are probably not even close to being good anymore. Do you remember what that card was used? No. <laughs> it was a monster, wasn't it? Yeah. It was used for Exodia decks. I just really like the art for it. I'm also blown away that people, uh... People played... <laughs> Exodia decks. There are, there are a couple of stories that I have that I want to want to get into with Yu-Gi-Oh! specifically. Um, the different starter decks had a bunch of different cards in them. But one of the more unique cards was one that was definitely probably banned in actual tournament play. Which was uh, Tribe Infecting Virus. That was in the water deck. I misread the description of the, of the card. Because if I if I go to Tribe Infect Infecting Virus, I'm I'm on the Yukio Wiki right now. Discard one card from your hand. I can do this. I, I have a monitor screen in here now. Discard one card from your hand and declare one type of monster. Destroy all face-up monsters of the declared type. I thought that it deleted all types of monsters. Period. <laughs> So, uh, my friend who had, like, a very edgy dragon deck at the time, he, I just deleted all dragons. <laughs> the other Yu-Gi-Oh! story that I want to tell was when I was a little younger, before this, before the starter decks came out. I had a card called Ansi. Did they shorten the text? I remember, yeah, here's the version that I had. Because, you know, you see some of them online now. The text is shortened. This one isn't. Near Mint First Edition. The card effect is not like... They shortened every card text. That's probably for the better. Like, this card probably isn't good. I think it's like you compare two monsters uh, by their star level and the higher star level... Yeah, the few, uh, fewer stars takes 1,000 life points and sends the card selected to the graveyard. Problem solving card text was introduced to make cards easier to read. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if this card was the reason... <laughs> because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit wordy. And, you know, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. You know how big a Yu-Gi-Oh card is. Wasn't this card. No, yeah, that's fair. I'm making a bit. Imagine being 10. You're 10 years old. You're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Your friend busts out this. You're not reading that. You're, you're not reading that. You came to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You're not doing homework. So I got I got away with saying it does whatever I want. <laughs> oh god, one of my favorite cards as well. It wasn't good. 
But again, it was another like cool shiny card that I thought was awesome. It was Fairy King Truesdale. Yo, look at this. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on with the wings? Why is it all crusty? Plant Chaos deck. Um, I combined it with uh. There was a fusion, uh, deck. Wow, it's a real plant. Yeah, because there was Vampire Orchid with Destendal. Uh, Vampire Orchis as Orchis, okay. Oh, they were a union, not a fusion. Slightly different. But when they were both played, you would start generating um, plant tokens. And they all counted as plant monsters. And they would buff each other because of Fairy King Truesdale's effect where you gain attack... Uh, all plant type monsters gain 500 attack and defense for every plant monster in play. So that was my ultimate strat. I was very simply minded as a kid. I uh, My strategies were basically just like, these cards sound like they have fun synergy. I'll try to build around that. <laughs> and never getting there. Because <laughs> I'd get destroyed. I also uh, distinctly remember beating my friend in a card battle and us recreating the scene from uh, where Joey fights Mako. Um, and because Joey beats him, he gifts him Legendary Fisherman. And a friend gifted me Legendary Fisherman, and I had never used it in my deck, ever. It's probably still in my box of cards, I'll have to go find it. But it was in two card sleeves, in like a big plastic protector. And I never touched it, because that card meant more to me. <laughs> because I earned it. Anyway, I'm delaying playing Sekiro. <laughs> by talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. So, earlier today I did a little grinding. Uh, it's not related to Sekiro, I was just getting my grind on. But essentially, I have quite a few <laughs> of the crafted items. Not all of them. Uh, in fact, I can just show you guys real quick. So, um... Sorry about that tangent. No, never apologize about a tangent. Tangents are the whole reason people come to my stream. Got a bed. Alright, get some rest luck. I'm sorry time zones are a fuck. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've gotten everything from the prosthetic tool upgrades except for the lapis weapons. And that's because uh, lapis lazuli is proven to be a very difficult ingredient to find. Also, I need grave wax and fulminated mercury and a bunch of other stuff. I was grinding out for these because I wanted to at least get some of the more unique... Uh, things. I was just specifically after malcontent. There, there were a couple of weapons that you that have unique crafting materials to them, and in my mind, those seem like very valuable because of that. So specifically, it was Phantom Kunai, Okinaga's Flame Vent, and Malcontent. All have ingredients that you have to either, f uh, in the case of Okinaga, you have to find it. It's hidden in Mibu Village. Phantom Kunai was purchased uh, for an exorbitant amount of money, I would say. And Malcontent required the Malcontent's Ring, which required you to kill Guardian Ape, then Headless Ape, and then uh, Shishiman Warrior. It was a whole thing. <laughs> but either way. That was me, like, getting my little uh, upgrades for my own sake. Also, because I finished a skill tree, specifically the Ashina skill tree, um, 
I was given the Mushin book, which, as you can see, it has all of the finished... Uh, la, la, la. All the last skills from each of the trees. And they get together to give you uh, the final form combat arts, including Empowered Mortal Draw, Spiral Cloud Passage, and Shadow Fall. I'm nowhere close to that. I did get a few levels in a couple of areas just to get a handful of different little abilities. I kind of regret getting the coin one because it's not as big of a bo uh, boost as I thought it was going to be. And I would have rather gotten the, uh, the other last uh, spirit emblem thing so I could have an even 20 before Owl. But that's fine. Also, as you saw last stream, we got the Dragon Mask, but I think it's five skill points per attack power up. So I wasn't able to dump any into attack power. <clears throat> I did spend a decent amount of money. I did find a grind spot. It's been fairly efficient and kind of fun. But I practiced a bit. And I watched a video, so I know kind of what to do. And I think it's time to fight Owl. It's time to fight my dad. Now. The whole reason I'm opting for Ichimanji double is because the video mentioned it. And it's really good for building posture, as near as I can tell. I don't think this really matters. It's not like I'm going to be killing anyone. I'm going to swap uh, Gashin out for Akko. And we're just going to hope. <laughs> we're going to hang on to hope, baby. And we're going to see where that takes us. Oi! Here we go. Oh yeah, if you move too soon. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not baiting that correctly. That's a Mikuri, which I learned from the video. And usually, if you can get the step back, if you... If he does the fireworks, and you step back, usually it's enough distance... I fucked up. Usually it's enough distance for him to do the stab instead, and that's another free Mikuri. But, I think I can do this. <sighs> Most of my spirit animals are going to be burned. Popping Akko. Because I did sell all of my sugars. Oh, you did the jump away. That was weird. Oh, he did the shuriken one.
Okay, but when are you supposed? Okay. The video talked about how you can bait the slam attack or whatever and get an Ichimanji off. Oh god, my posture! I dodged into him instead of away from him. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Let's do that again. Thought he was supposed to do a... The Mikuri stab. Why did I block? I was trying to jump. What? I blocked. Okay, come on. Why did you go forward and not backward? Whatever. That was greed. Pure greed. Pure greed. I couldn't... Couldn't even imagine doing that correctly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Pressing X because I'm so used to uh, Monster Hunter. I dodged forward and not to the side because the game is stupid. I'm just going to die. Just kill me. We're staying dead. That was a fluff. That, that was completely... F that. Okay. <laughs> I want to kill him before I do Divine Dragon because I want I want to see if there's any unique dialogue before the map changes with uh, Emma and the sculptor and all that jazz. There we go. The hop back was enough.
I don't know. Okay, I guess I have to wait for the grunt. I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. Okay. We're, we've done some damage, though. We've, we've done some decent damage to him. Bop. Bop. Okay. Yeah. I just have to wait for him to grunt. Okay. We might see phase two, chat. I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I fucked up. There we go. Bop. Bop. Oh, I pressed it. I pressed it, though. All right, one flubbed me, kitty. Isn't the end of the world. Look at how good we're doing, chat. This is a battle of attrition. I still have four gourds and a good amount of health. I did the sprint attack and that was my problem. As I committed to the sprint attack. No, I was drinking. Dad, please. I'm trying to enjoy my, my Capri Sun. It wouldn't let me block. I think I shouldn't commit to the double hit. I should just... There we go. Bop, bop, bop. And there's phase two. Okay. Okay. Watch the bird. Shit. Okay. Now get up. Genuinely didn't see the shuriken, but that was the obvious bit. Okay. Yeah, the step back now includes shuriken. That is the one bit I remember. Bop. It missed!
thought you could trip me up, Dad. Think you're better than me? I couldn't back away fast enough. Yo! Why don't I get any cool wolf powers? Lady Butterfly can summon these ghost butterflies. My dad gets a cool fire wolf, uh, fire bird. I don't get any wolves or anything. Jesus Christ. All right. Not the... He didn't do the stab. I need to run. Why'd you unlock on? It missed. Whatever. Free hit. Not as much posture build up, but that's fine. Okay. How do you avoid it? He literally like teleports behind you, nothing personnel kit. Thought I avoided it, I did not. Thought I avoided it, I did not. What happened there? All right, free hit, please. I'm running out of items, so I just need to- I just need to pray. He's so close. Shit. He's so close. I got way too cocky on that one! Eat the rice. Eat the rice.
Right, the owl flew by him that time. No! Okay. Yeah! Two tries! I'm the best gamer. Father surpassed achievement unlocked. <sighs> I did it. Flowers of the ever blossom that bloomed in an old memory. Grafted by Takeru, who took the branch from the divine realm as a parting relic. One who seeks purification may impart the dragon tears. And these flowers are the divine heir of the dragon's heritage, thus severing the shackles. Well, I did it. Although distant, uh, Owl took in the hungry cub on a whim and raised him as a shinobi. The process was so engrossing that he hoped they might enjoy a true battle to the death someday. He got his wish, if only in an old memory. Well. I I beat my dad in less than an hour. Which uh I wasn't expecting. But here we are. <laughs> なんかあったのですね。これで巫女様の人帰りが叶う。なすべきことをなすだけだ。わかりました。どうか。ブーン。狼殿。どうか。狼殿。何か。You won't only give him more sake, unfortunately. Don't be afraid to go all out, he says. Knowing probably what is to come. Wonder if I can bother the divine child for more rice. Miko no Satashi. Sumimasen. Okomega Mada. Mata. Lui. 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 Yeah, fair enough. Alright. I used all. most of my big healing items in that fight. Which just goes to show you, right? When you save something for a big moment, you know, you, you save an item for something important. Remember to use them. That's it. Right, so nobody else has anything else to say. So it's just, um, it's dragon time. Which also means it's uh, Ashina on fire time as well. Now we're going to need to set these items a little differently, I think. I don't know how. Ah, but... I kind of want the flame fan. No, no, malcontent. Uh, I look. This is gonna be the divine dragon. 
right? I ain't too, I ain't too concerned. Everything that I remember about the Divine Dragon fight is that it's actually incredibly easy. Oh shit. Here I am. Senkyoka. mood. Alright. Thank you. That's what I was trying to do. Let's target you. No. Let's target you. Yes. Yeah! I learned about that recently-ish, and it's still one of the best things that I discovered after doing this fight, is just how awesome that is. How useful. Just one boy. All dragons of the tree, done. Phase two. Also a relatively easy fight. There he is, the Divine Dragon. With one of the coolest sword designs ever. Oh, there's the lightning. Am 
My goal isn't to kill the guy. I just need his tears. I said this was easy, but I also don't remember what to do for this part. Ah, there we go. There we go. I just climb up his sword. And boop. Gracious gift of tears. I've I've done it. I I I, I did it. <laughs> tears received from the divine dragon. The gracious gift of tears can be granted by the mortal blade. Blood, the body of the divine dragon is eternal, and its tears, once shed, will maintain their form and moisture in perpetuity. Should one of the dragon's heritage partake in the dragon's tears, immortal severance will be reified. それを察知したのです。ナイフの群がその木に乗じ。ミコ様はこれを。この鍵、ミコ様は。はい。月見郎がある水の手来るあの堀。スクロウ様はその抜け穴から城外へ出し。分かった。一心様の命にて、ヨ
you have to navigate Ashina uh, outskirts. Essentially backwards. Well, not really. Somewhere from... There are other places that you can go. I think Undershrine Valley would be an interesting place to start. Because that's just before... That isn't what I was thinking. Because that's the... That's the Serpent Temple. I was thinking of Underbridge Valley, but that's also grayed out. Let's just navigate from Kuro's room. Oh, I should also, yeah. Before I, I start this journey, let's check in on the other kid. ミコの忍びルーの涙をこれが私した氷涙とともに我がゆりかごへ宿っていただくことがかなすみませんお待ちミコの無事苦労様と All right. Let's do what the game wants. We're going to navigate our way out from the temple. I was hoping to get more rice, because it's a really good healing item, and I'm out of it now. But I didn't eat the snow rice. Still have that. I don't think, um... Oh, it's jammed. No. Now is not the time for libations. <laughs> the hell it is. Okay. Who aggroed? door is sealed, but I'm still going to take the opportunity to grab that Sculptor's Idol, because it's just convenient. There should also be the dojo window, so I can get inside. Oh, you're, you're still here. Thought you could jump that. You cannot. There really isn't much of a point to me knocking all of these out again, other than I I, I want to. Oh, there's items here. Pellet. Oh. What? I mean, I already got the chest through the... The flippy wall. Oh, piss. Oh, 
Uh, you guys have fun. I fight winner. I'm not dealing with that. I didn't get the assassination off. Piss. The poison's gonna kill me. Get up. There we go. I mean, I think I'm fine on adamantine. I need... Really, the ingredients I need a lot of are white mercury and stuff. Oh, fuck. Lock, lock on, maybe? Thank you. Now, we're gonna jump down here. There we go. Simple geometry. I mean, these guys don't seem to be an immediate threat, so I'm just going to let them be. Right, that's Old Grave. You see they rebuilt the bridge? That's um, uh, what we're going to have to cross. To make our way through Ashina outskirts again. I remember when I first played, I thought something funny would happen if I died in that grave. Now nothing happens.
Is that Andy? Is that Andy coming in saying hi? How are you doing, Andy? That's a good bean. Dead. <laughs> Monkeys! Monkeys with swords. Wow, look at all those bears. Monkey with a gun. Oh, thank you for the bits. It's very sweet of you. Let me make sure to give you a big old shout out. Andy's a cool streamer. I need to watch I need to watch your stuff more. I'm bad at watching other people. Oh yeah, you're doing some inscription last time. How was inscription going? Are the monkeys warring? I don't know what's going on here. Jesus. Fast monkey. I accidentally mortal bladed. That was last Monday. I haven't streamed since then. Oh, jeez. I mean, stuff's busy. No, the monkeys! saying sorry for you didn't kill me monkeys did you didn't distract me either don't worry sorry that I haven't streamed recently that's something you don't need to apologize for either listen streaming's hard work Especially if you're trying to juggle, you know, life. Whatever it is you're doing in life. I have the fortunate opportunity of working a job that doesn't give me any hours. And also quitting my job at the start of the year. So I've had a lot of free time to basically make streaming my full-time passion. And I'm glad. But I know it's not for everybody. Or that it's not practical for everybody. These, these dual blade monkeys, genuinely terrifying. Probably some of the most annoying enemies in the game. So they're like actually really good. What if I just ran?
I do hope, though, in general, Andy, even if you're not streaming, that you're doing all right. You're a good friend, very entertaining person to be around, to talk to. I appreciate you a bunch. I don't think you should be... I don't think you should feel sad. And end of story. Where the hell is that last monkey? There was two of them, right? Guess he's gone. That just leaves the Ashina Reservoir, which I still need to get to. Oh, and, ca and the Ashina Castle itself. Ah! Ooh. So I also apologize if I sound a little groggy today. I did uh, get my flu shot. Got my flu shit. And it's important, I, I think, that everybody get a flu shot, if you can. It doesn't give you any major negative health effects. Like, I understand there f might be folks who are allergic or what have you. But if it's within your peer, uh, purview... You should absolutely get your flu shot. Boom. I also got my bivalent. So I'm a bit more immune now to the spicy cough. I sure am, man. Anyway, thanks. But yeah, no, I just urge people in general to take care of themselves. So, Ashina Castle, and then I just need Ashina Reservoir, which I think is this way. Shh. I saved your life, bud. And this is how you repay me. That was satisfying. Adamantine scrap. Goku sugar. I think that's the abandoned dungeon. Dungeon, yeah? Down here? No, this is Ashina Reservoir. All right. I want to see... Can I just alert him? Okay, well, there's a boss room. And everything's on fire. The, the fog means that I'm in a boss fight. Yep. 
you can't just do one. Honey, I'm busy. Honey, I'm busy. All right. I'm just going to let... I'm going to take the L on that one and see if I can't approach this better. Let's get firecrackers. Where are they hiding? There they are. This boss is a prayer bead. Kind of want that. Jesus. I was stunned. All right, get up. I'm now trapped. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I need to figure this one out. I think. I can gashin. I can sneak attack this guy. I'm on fire. <laughs> he pushed me into the fire. One down. Oh, you did the spin, not the Mikiri. That's the that's the Mikiri. Uh, I don't know what that was, but it was bad. I press the button game. What the fuck? All right, get up. Truly one of the greatest warriors I've ever faced. Because he just shrugs off the Divine Dragon's tears. There we go. Prayer bead, three out of four. Ministry dousing powder. It's like extra good at fire. And some fulminated mercury.
back to the very start of the game. Navigating this little path. But we're not going to go to the final, final boss just yet. We will soon. Just not yet. I'm going to grab the idol. Just for convenience's sake. I'm avoiding resting so I don't respawn some enemies. Just so it's a little easier to get out of here. Pellet. Most of the stuff over there I can't reach. Because it's all on fire. I also don't think there's anything... Down here? No. Just trying to remember, like... Where to go, what to do. Because <laughs> this is the final map transition. Where the map looks like... Well, this. Everything's on fire. <laughs> I don't know if fire is a yippee moment. <laughs> oh yeah, see that branch burned, so I can't get over there. <laughs> All right. Random sound effect. I forgot to boot up SoundPad. Uh, I'm a professional streamer. Just so folks know, Father surpassed 21% completion rate on Steam. I'm in an upper echelon of gamers. Speakers. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there's the kite. Okay. I was wondering where that was, because I remember watching a video mentioning this kite, specifically. I remember when I really used to struggle with that enemy type. I don't think there's anything in the courtyard, but I can always double check later. Let's go across! Taken up to Serpent Valley and raised a bridge. Yeah, I'm I'm reinforcements, don't worry. I 
I don't know who's currently aggroed to me. Getting good timing on these. How hard is this game? Uh, it's a little difficult. Compared to a Dark Souls game, like other styles of Souls likes, um, the main focus on this one is countering. So you're not blocking. You are precisely pressing the block button as the opponent attacks to do a perfect parry to build up enough points to get an execution. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't like the guy shooting fire. Yeah, let me just deflect it. Uh, let's get Akko. And we're going to get the Red Gourd. I drink it, it makes fire go away. Here, I'm going to bum rush the gunman. Now I need to be careful, because there's a big boy over there. You see that? You see that big boy, the big sword? He's a mini boss, and he hurts. I'm gonna need to be quick and careful. Sizable lad. Okay, so you can't jump that one. Can't do the head stomp on that. Couldn't block those, I guess. Okay. Don't know this dude's patterns at all. So I, I dodged it that time, and that didn't work either. Come on, dude. The other kind of more forgiving part is that you do get reses. Bye! I just want whatever the hell this is. Watch it not be worth it. It's scrap. I mean, I already killed this dude, but that also means that the shortcut that the headless opens up should be here as well. Which might be a bit more convenient to get around, theoretically.
don't know if I've ever been here. I hate these dudes! I hate these little guys. There's that shortcut. Another Gashin. Right. This puts me right there. Oh, shit. Don't mind me, guys. I was just leaving. And I went off the cliff. Made it to this guy. He's dead. It's a little unfortunate. So. Oh, fuck. Oh, I have three skill. We should use that to get that. There, I now have a round, nice round 20 Speared Emblems. Yeah, I'm not using the money for anything else. Round. Yeah, I don't trust a 306 number texting me saying, hey, you have two uncertified payments on your bank account. Mobility in this game is so different from other FromSoft games. It's so much faster. The grappling hook adds so much. And this was the first game to have uh, jumping. 
as a set button, which did seem to influence Elden Ring. Because, you know, Elden Ring has a jump button. And you can double jump on the horse. Alright, there wasn't really anything down that way. I was kind of expecting something, but also not really. Just trying to be a little bit more cautious with my navigation, though. Because I ain't here to deal with other people's bullshit. No, they killed them. There's a family living there. Wait, what? Oh, it's not a boss. Gravox. Hey. I'm going to be real. I don't like the look of this place. It scares me. Oh, God. You couldn't jump in Dark Souls? No, just in uh thing. Flames of Hatred. Sounds like a chill place. So that is Demon of Hatred. That is a secret boss. And we'll come back to him. We're definitely going to be fighting him this stream. However, there's the matter of that other boss we skipped. Oh shit. Hang on, just to make life easier, we're gonna do a assassination spree. This is a great endgame grind, if you ever need money. So there's that patrol up there. Oh, they just vanished. I think uh, LOD ran out. Burn. Lamau, idiot. Oh no, I'm the idiot. Okay, now we're fine. Oh fuck. There we go. If they're an assassination. However, with a mini boss, they have multiple bars of health. Shigekichi of the Red Guard 
is an absolute pain in the fucking ass. He is the hardest version of a boss type that I didn't enjoy fighting in the first place. Whew. That hurt. Luckily, we cleared out this area. So things aren't as bad as they could be. That's not what I wanted to do. Shit. But yeah, like scrub enemies are still pretty tough. If when you fight them one on one, It's also the matter of timing when it comes to your blocks, as you can see. You want that loud ping. Because that damages your opponent's posture. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Through the, the gift of God. Now I gotta be extra careful when you fire sword. I got slapped. Okay. Die. 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 First try. I hate that boss type. The the big drunkards, they are very annoying to fight. Well, thank you. I don't think there's anything else that's, like, super noteworthy here. Yeah, this is the doorway I took. Just another alternate path. The old man screaming is an alarm system. Because he's just an old man with a pot. And he bangs it if you come close. But this is just an empty courtyard. Uh, the run-up. We basically got all the way to the Demon of Hatred. And I don't think there's anything else beyond that? but I could be wrong. That dude up the hill is still there. The, the merchant. There eventually. There's a gourd for everything. Though I think it stops poison buildup, but not actual poison. I went for the jump when I shouldn't have. Yeah, so I think if I have the poison, like, bar effect, it prevents it. 
There is a poison item, though. Where you just... You basically cure the poison by... Uh... You cure your poison by just um, eating a, a bunch of bees and giving yourself a different kind of poison. What's up, dude? Walk. I'm going to go ahead and grab your po uh, coin purses here. Oh, fuck. Shot in the ass. Just trying to pick up all the shinies I, I remember. There's no way they know I'm in here. I'm just going to go. <laughs> so. I think. This is. As high as my HP can get. Basically found them all. And now... <laughs> now the fun begins. I don't actually know if the fireworks work on him or not. Also, this is like the last bit of rice that I have. So in terms of like healing items, I'm pretty limited. Buddy, I don't mean to, I don't mean to be rude, but is now the time? Whew. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what should be on this list? 
uh, instead of snow, we're going to get the red gourd. Because I think drinking it now gives me a resistance. All right, he's distracted with the other guy. Now he is. Now this is the hardest boss in the game, arguably. And I'm gonna beat him. Cause I beat Melania. Effectively, yes, Andy. <laughs> Whoa, it works! So, um... Yeah, I read somewhere that that was a thing you could do. And it... That confirms it. Shit. Don't. Okay. F. It's going to be happening a lot. We're going to have quite a few deaths. But, hey, the whistle works. You know, I need to Google something. <laughs> I'm missing one gourd seed. Wait, it's in Fountainhead Palace? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. In a chest by the last room of the palace, by the palace grounds. In a chest in the last room of the palace, by the palace grounds, Sculptor's Idol. Hard to miss. I may have missed it. because uh, there's supposed to be 10 uses. Yeah, the wiki says hard to miss.
I'm now just going through the wiki list and like reading off. In front of the first immortal monk you encounter in Senpo Temple, in the first building that's filled with crickets. I don't know if I got that one or not, actually, now that I think about it. But there's also one in Sunken Valley that I'm going to double check as well. We just gonna run. Oh yeah, the item in front of him is gone. Like in real life, I want a Conobo. I love Conobo. All right, so not here. <laughs> Lesson learned. Not here. The one that it's mentioning... <sighs> the one in the center of Mibu Village, I think I got. But there is one here that is a little lengthy that I might have missed. So we're going to go through it. From the Undershrine Valley Idol, progress forward until you get to the fourth rifleman on the path. I gotta get my 10th Gourd Seed. Or my 9th Gourd Seed. For my 10th Gourd. There's three. And four, I guess. Oh god! I do love their philosophy on what a shotgun is. Which is like 10 barrels duct taped together. Drop down the poison lizard. Yeah, okay, so the poison lizard more you hug the wall. So let's get back up there real quick. There's a climbable wall. Okay, if you've got to the lizard, you've gone too far, it says. There's a climbable wall near the where the rifleman was. 
Hey, Gabe. I hope you're doing well. That's a... I haven't seen you in a bit. There's a climbable wall near where the rifleman was. Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh-huh. I thought I was going to make that jump. Whoop! Wahoo! Let's just kill you for convenience sake. <laughs> Some yellow gunpowder. There it is. Oh my goodness. Good one on vacation. Now I'm busy with work and hanging frames. Uh, it sounds like sounds like fun. I, I hope your vacation was good at least. Oh yeah, there's two Gabe the Babes, I remember. Though, um, one of them is a number at the end. Gabe the Babe 379 or something. Uh, she hasn't been around in a bit. Probably busy. Cool, so I have ten cords now. Gonna grab the fire and rest. Man, that one's pretty easy to miss. Now, with Demon of Hatred, right? I think I can handle this. With all of it said and done. It's not that bad. I said... No, yeah, I know. I know that I I mean that game as well. I just have a lot of friends named Gabe. you can block. Yeah, all the games I know are pretty cool, in my opinion. Wait, why, why couldn't I do Mortal Blade? Shit. I didn't dodge to the side enough. I'm doing my little boot scoop. Just new boot goofing. This fight's hard. Oh, fuck.
the whistle causing him to stop is a lot like uh, the music box in uh, Father Gascoigne's fight in Bloodborne. Which brings up one of my favorite things about FromSoft boss fights. I'm going to burn to death. My favorite thing about FromSoft boss fights is the tragedy. It's sad. I don't know how many times I can do that in the fight. Thank you, Gabe. I almost didn't... There was a point in my life where I considered going by my middle name for a while. Because my middle name is Aiden. And I thought that was cool. I was gonna go my dot! <laughs> can't be funnier than me on my stream. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's really good. Though. If you guys are wondering what I look like, uh, IRL, this thing is pretty close. of effort into my appearance. I cut my own hair. Fun fact. <laughs> That's how he feels about that. I feel like I can do this. It ain't a guarantee. All right, that was a rough start. We're just gonna do that one over. <laughs> We're just gonna do that one over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, I was so set on Owl Father being, who art in heaven, being the fight that was gonna take the longest. But here we are. Okay, so I can block those little stomps. Not that one. The little stomps I can block, not the big stomps. Whoop! I like a little jiggle physics on this tummy. Yeah, the, the amount of solemn tragedy that exists within from soft universes is always something that makes them a lot more compelling. Yeah, more video games should have that. 
Blizzard is a bad company for a lot of reasons, but it's a very good company for giving us a large amount of physics on Roadhog. And I will not apologize for my opinions. Roadhog is hot. <laughs> Actually, uh, I played a little bit of Overwatch 2 because I had some friends who were desperate for me to play it with them. And... Uh, the new Overwatch 2 outfit for Roadhog is actually really cute. It's like the little hair. speedrunners do Demon of Hatred. I think there's a skip, actually. Like, you can do a precise jump, and you can bait him to falling off the map. jumped way too early. Ah. There we go. That was a better time jump. <laughs> Just slaps me out of the air. Goodness gracious me. This is doable. This is doable. That was a bad start. If you're wondering what I was trying to do, I was just jumping around like an idiot. You know what we're just gonna redo? I got plenty of uh, dragons droplets or whatever, so that way I can, if, if my repeated deaths give enough people cancer, I can cure it. By the way, still one of my favorite mechanics in this game, the Dragon Rot. For context of people who haven't played Sekiro, um, there is no, like, soul retrieval or whatever in this game. When you die, you just lose whatever. However, in, in place of that, you have a chance of your items not going away, which is part of uh, what the game calls Unseen Aid. So you have a 30% chance every time you you die. But when, when you die enough times, or after a certain amount of times, a thing happens called Dragon Rot, where your constant resurrection is a drain on the world around you. And you make other people sick. So it's a lot funnier to say you're so bad at this video game that you've given other NPCs cancer. Alright. 
Maybe I should have popped an Ako earlier, but I'll pop it now. No, that's totally fine. And here's why. One bar. For one bar. Still works. And phase two, good to know. I'm just limited by my spirit emblems, so I can't spam it. Slice the butte. That's a lot, a lot more fire. He's he's doing a lot more fire now. I don't know whether or not it's worth it to go for the the mortal blade attacks or if I want to save my spirit emblems for the whistles Akko also costs spirit emblems if I'm using uh, the spirit fall instead of the sugars, but I'm out of sugars because I sold them all. <laughs> We're going to redo. Because let's actually like... Okay, the fire gourds... Are too handy not to have. Wait, these don't cost spirit emblems? Okay, Ashina Cross does. Uh, Ichimonji. You know, I want to try Floating Passage out. Uh, Ichimonji does posture damage, which is the bar that you see in the top of the screen. If that fills up before his health hits zero, that's also a, a health bar down. Unfortunately, with a boss like him, I don't think that happens. I didn't jump in time. Ok. 
Okay, I thought I blocked that. I blocked that. That's a fire. Don't stand on that. Okay, so that's interruptible if I get the stagger. I was not nearly airborne enough. And now I'm on fire. Kind of hoping this guy would have more grapple hook opportunities. So far, none. Alright. Right, he explodes! Into more fire. I was mid drink. All right, got another res. I just want to make progress. At this point, I just want to grow. Whiffing all of those attacks. How close we got. This is doable. This is doable, chat. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I just now need to look up. Uh, Sekiro best combat art. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just go with double. An Ichimonji double. It's free. So that's the big thing. 
Uh, not going to worry about the other stuff on the bar. I could theoretically go for Yash. Uh, Yashiriku, which also increases my damage, but reduces my health bar. I'm also out of reses. So future attempts are going to have a lot less forgiveness. I thought I jumped more than soon enough, game. That's fine. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright, no, 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 no. Reset, 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 reset. That was a that was a that was a that was sloppy. That was a sloppy. Shush. Shush. Okay, no, no, no. Redo, 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 redo. 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 It's this or the final boss. <laughs> More people are getting sick. I don't suppose I can bait him to fall off. Not me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Am I actually mad? Not really. Look, I walked into this fight knowing this is probably going to be a bit... Chop the butt. Ow. Just, just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity. Just, we're gonna, we're gonna look up something for research purposes. Okay, chat. We're just gonna. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Gonna open up my browser. Just, uh... Demon of Hatred Cheese. up today guys red octopus gaming and i'm gonna show you how to cheese oh what is up guys this time it's for real because i guess my last video wasn't cheesy enough for people uh the prosthetic finger whistle wasn't good enough so there is a new way now what you want to do is you want to come over here to this rock and then the demon of hatred is going to follow you here you need to run this path to stay as tight as you can to this cliff and these buildings and then he's going to actually run back over and he's going to get stuck in a tree and then now all you need to do which this is a painful part is run at this tower at this exact angle you have to be kind of angled jump up it climb all the way up it and then 
This is the hard part. <laughs> Running from this top of the roof all the way over to the ledge. So you need to run. It's going to like push you off to the side and then you need to jump. Now, this took me quite a while to do. It's very inconsistent as far as like you getting pushed over and being able to actually jump onto the ledge. But once you get over there, all you have to do is just walk on top of the roof, stand on this little position right here and the demon of hatred is just gonna swipe all day you don't need to move just stay here eventually he's gonna jump off the ledge and kill himself and then that is how you cheese the demon of hatred and you don't have to fight him well chat it's worth an attempt I don't think we're gonna get it Well, let's try it. So, hide behind this rock until he gets here. Right? And then... Stay tight to the cliff. If it worked, he got stuck. I think he did. Now, jumping up this tower is the hard part. Because <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I just watched him do it and I don't know how. I think they made them slightly taller so that you can't. That might have been patched. Seriously, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed here. I have to pull up the video again real quick. Jump up. Bit. Climb all the way up. What you need to do, which this is a painful part, is run it. Okay, he's just like mashing the button. There we go. Okay, we're in this bit. Okay. Okay. Back to this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like some people are going to jump in here and be like, Tim, really? You're going to cheese it? You're not going to do the fight normally? To which I would reply, this trick is actually just as hard as the boss fight. This is a speedrun shit. I'm not speedrunning right now, obviously, because it's taking forever. Wondering if they would patch out the cheese. With FromSoft, sometimes they just leave it. How do you do that bit? Okay. <laughs> if you think, if you think for a moment 
that I'm not above this. And you don't know me. Yeah, exactly. Also, he can destroy these towers. Okay, so jumping at, like, the corner of it seems to have been the method. Yeah, there we go. Got that down consistently. It's just the wall jump that I can't get. I think I'm supposed to double jump mid-air and mash X till I grab the ledge. I can watch this guy do it. Oh, you can just jump. Oh god, my game. My game froze. My game froze. Yeah, you want to kind of double jump. There we go. Kind of want to double jump midair. So knowing you can just jump up from the ledge actually helps quite a bit. Because it means you don't have to, like, do the bit where you get stuck in. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Okay. Love that there are remnants showing you how to cheese. That's one of the fun things, right? The remnants in this game, you know, are like the bloodstains in Dark Souls. But players can choose to leave them. And they show you... Sometimes they'll show you secrets. Or just how to do tricks. The funny part is, too, is that this also is exactly how you do a skip for the boss that's normally in this arena, which is Gyobu. And skip works in a very similar way of just getting slightly out of bounds. It's angled a bit, you can see. There we go. Okay. <laughs> First try! Haha. <laughs> Not above it. Not above it. Use every advantage you have in the battlefield to assure victory. Wow, look at all those bits. You win. <laughs> you win. There. I'll cure Dragon Rot. And I can use his memory. A man who failed to become Shura instead became a vessel for the flames of hatred. As fate would have it, 
He was bound to stubborn. Uh, he was bound stubbornly to this world. It wasn't until he became a demon that he was finally able to depart for the next. I ain't gonna complain if you cheese it. Someone will. I gave it some honest attempts. I got some health bars down. And hey, considering how tricky that jump sequence was, I feel like it's not a guarantee, you know? It's not the easiest thing in the world. Can I open this gate? No. Still felt good to to land the trick. I've only ever seen videos of that. I've only ever seen like speedrunners do that. To do a a speedrun strat feels like a, an accomplishment of its own way, you know. You know who the one-armed demon was before. You do. I swear to God, I know who it was. Whatever. I guess I didn't do enough uh, eavesdropping or whatever. But the sculptor at the start of the game who gives you this prosthetic arm is that demon. Spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> And if you have enough conversations with him, you actually have different uh, ending dialogue when you kill him. Oh yeah, holy shit. I beat Demon of Hatred, technically. Which just leaves one last fight. Now, this last fight was enough for me to quit. <laughs> last time I played Sekiro. Before I go to that, like, fully, fully, I want to see if there's any little bits and bobs that I can explore. Wow, look at all those bits! <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything of substance here. I wonder if there's, um... Dialogue. Dunna. Also, I have enough coins to sell to the guy. I just want to see if I have enough ingredients for any of the, uh... Theoretically, yes. I can make the Lazulite axe. 
And that's it. That's the one. It inflicts damage even on guarding enemies. The sound of the lapis lazuli blade striking home creates a powerful reverberation capable of dispelling enemy illusions. Huh. Whirl the heavy lazulite axe around in circles to strike enemies. Eh. I'm good for now. Well, oh yeah, let me talk to Emma now that I'm thinking about this. I don't think she has any, any special dialogue following this, but maybe she does. Right. No, she doesn't. And I can't give her... I can't give her my sake. Now... Excuse me. I sadly don't have enhanced mortal draw. I need a uh, need night jars reversal slash and then I can get it. But the regular slice should be enough. Ooh. Woo! Creaky. The other thing to note here is that I'm getting to this fight with, like, three more attack power than I had the last time I played this game. Four more. Because there was, um... Headless Ape. Demon of Hatred, Owl Father, and probably another boss that I'm forgetting. So I'm going into this fight a lot stronger than I was initially. Kurosawa. みよ、不思議に思う人不よ。ケイチロとのそのようなものでは決して足名の命運は変わりませぬ。狼よ。竜院など誰の手にもあるべきではないのだ。苦労をかけるな。ああ、しまいとしよう。the final fight.
There is something about, like, a field of flowers, isn't there? For the dramatic po uh, poetry of it all. Oh, man, that was a really... That was really easy for a final boss fight. Man. You know, it's been a while since I've played, but I, I'm pretty sure that's, like... I don't know what I get so upset about, you know? Yeah, no. There. It is. I'm doing a bit. He wished for his grandfather to be reborn. <laughs> so, Ishin Ashina, the man responsible for the rebellion that gave him this country. Resurrected in his prime. So, this guy sucks. I hate him. That was a Mikiti, and I fucked that up so bad. Jesus. Okay, no. Get up. We're learning. That one wasn't a Mikiti. By looking identical to the actual Mikiti. That's the Mikiti, and I dodged it instead of taking advantage of it. Hesitation's defeat. Hesitation is defeat. Ooh, this mic stand is so loud. It's so loud. So get ready for the rest of the stream. Being this fight. See, that bit's easy. I pressed the button game. Press the button, game! Okay.
Jesus Christ. So this guy doesn't have cheese, nearly as I can tell. You can't you can't knock him off a cliff. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do this properly. But with Demon Hatred out of the way, and the attack power from Demon Hatred, maybe we can do some damage. Wow, I got hit. That's embarrassing. No, yeah, no, we're resetting on that one. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Alright, much better. I was stunned, so I couldn't do the Mikadi. Christ on a bike, dude. There we go. Got one. One bar. Now he has a staff. And a gun. No joke. First time I've ever seen this face. Can move. Why don't I get a spear? I thought I was far enough away. confused okay so that's a jump I was on the ground uh, I was on the ground okay. listen though 
That wasn't bad. Yeah, progress. It's the first time I've ever seen Phase 2. Jesus. Hey. This is a bad enough start to just, like, flub it. Yeah, no, we gotta redo. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh shit, my buddy Slugs just went live. They're doing a debut for their new character. I figure I'd give them a proper shout out. I pressed it, game. If I get hit at all during Genny, there's no hope. It's bad omen. I can't I can't fuck around with Genny. I just gotta Gotta eliminate him as quickly as possible. Unbelievable. I let him kill me there. That wasn't me, like, getting hit multiple times, Lamau. No, just, like, after that first hit, I had to throw that away. Like I said, you can't get hit by Genichiro at all. I don't want to waste anything on him. He's not a... He's a cutscene. Game? Do you mind explaining yourself, game? So the way Mikuri Counter works, for folks unfamiliar with Mikuri Counter, you press the dodge button, which is the B button on an Xbox controller, and when you press it towards an enemy, or you just press B, period, when you see the weapon flash, you counter. You do that thing where you stomp on the sword. That is supposed to happen when those attacks happen. However, my character decided 
to kind of veer to the side a bit. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Good start. That did damage, even though I blocked it. Okay. tough for context uh the last time i streamed this game near the beginning of the year i got so mad at this boss fight that i stopped playing the game entirely which is what made me Wants to replay it. Okay, so instead of doing the Mikiti counter, he did the spinning move, which he never does. Okay, why is he doing the spinning move and not the step? Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. I don't get it. Why is he doing... So that unblockable move is supposed to be the stab that you stomp on his sword for, and he's spinning instead. And I don't know what's dictating that in the AI. And that hit me midair, even though I jumped over it. This is doable. I'm just... 
not doing it. But the stream's not ending until I do it. Is there a reason why you're delaying this for so long, Genny? There we go. Locked, but okay, game. Oh, uh, well. What happened there? I blocked it. I pressed the button to block attacks, and the attacks were not blocked. Same thing happened there. He attacks me within the window. Oh, mm. That can't be Nikiti, I guess. Or if it can. Sekiro just didn't want to this time. Yeah, he just doesn't want he just doesn't want to. He just doesn't feel like it. You know, he's having an off day. And we we've all had off days, you know, just all of a sudden. You don't do the thing you are supposed to do when an attack happens. You know, it, it happens to the best of us. You know... Happens to the best of us. I, I dodged it, but okay, game. Jesus, the tracking! How are you? When do you start on that? Don't you dare. Press the buttons game. I press the buttons game. I, I, I dodged. Don't know what. Don't, don't know why it just doesn't work. Speaking of not working, the game froze again. I love it when that happens for no reason. Get the fuck up, you pathetic piece of shit. Yes. A lot of games have been stuttering or slowing down lately, and I don't know why. 
It's not just this one. So I'm trying to do. Yeah, I was taking a deep breath. I was worried it was coming through the mic. I'm. I got this. No, kill me. Kill me. Thank you. I failed the Miku counter, so uh, we got to do that over. I keep picking up my uh, wrist rest, my keyboard wrist rest, thinking it's my phone. When I have my phone right, literally right in front of me. Nope, nope, nope. Can't start with a hit. I can't get hit by Genichiro at all. Whatever, whatever. Let's just keep going. Just keep going. I pressed B, and the game decided, no, you don't. You don't want to dodge. It's not like there's a very powerful attack about to happen. Why would you want to dodge? Oh, that was a AOE attack. You see, you, forgive me for assuming that a guy who only been doing line attacks up until now, uh, me assuming that he would do another line attack and him not doing another line attack. So, what do you do about that one? Because I jumped it. I, I did a big old jump to get over the attack, and I still got hit. So, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that one. Fuck you. Get mortal bladed, idiot. Mm 
So that's got some tracking on it. No such thing as animation commitment. He can just bend time and space at will. Okay. Gonna admit, I'm a little confused. I'm a... I'm a little confused as to whereabouts I'm making mistakes, because it doesn't really necessarily feel like I'm doing... wrong. Just the the game is deciding that my inputs are not doing what I tell them to. Because I'm pressing the B button in response to stab attacks that I assume are Mikuri counters and are supposedly Mikuri counters, and my character stands there and gets hit. Okay, you did the spin and not the Mikuri, because, you know. Sometimes you just don't do what you're supposed to. Sometimes your attack patterns are just different for no reason. Can I get a second, bud? So running doesn't work either. So that that attack is just free, I get. Again, I'm pressing B when that's happening because it's a stab attack, and I would assume that the when uh, an unblockable stab attack happens, the expectation There we go. Now that worked. That does a lot of chip damage if you just block it and not deflect it. Couldn't move. Couldn't move. I was also expecting him to do the overhead slash thing, and he didn't do that. And again, I don't know what dictates whether or not an attack pattern happens with a boss. Because... I don't know. This game decides at random what bosses do. Oh 
俺がアシナを生かす I mean, it's a difficult game. Just kill me. You don't have to apologize, Andy. It's a frustrating game, but it's a, it's a game that is also built to be difficult because, you know, it's a from software game. They're supposed to be hard because. I don't know. Some chuds think that. A game being difficult is suddenly a marker for its like value. I don't know. So, no, yeah, no, just kill me. Don't know why that happened. Because I avoided the attack, and the game said, no, you didn't. Even though I've done nothing different between attempts, it's just... Whatever. <sighs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Great start. I almost felt like his attacks in phase two were easier. Like, the spear was at least a bit more predictable. I pressed the button to do the Mikiti counter and it didn't do a Mikiti counter. And of course, he attacks faster than I can drink. I, again, I pressed the button to do the Mikiti counter, and he didn't do the Mikiti counter. I jumped, but okay. Oh, you did a sweep attack instead of the Mikiri. That's awesome.
Phase three. Okay, Silver S. I missed with the lightning. But at least it didn't kill me. I thought I was expecting more gunfire. Shut the fuck! Okay. Okay. I did get farther. Got to phase three. I'm gonna need to step away for a second. Just to breathe a bit, but also I need a quick snack and, yeah, no, sit and, <laughs> sit and sit in my butt. So I'm going to be one moment while I breathe.
Edible mac and cheese. I'm, uh... Feeling a lot better after I ate. <clears throat> I said I'm feeling better after I... Most of the ones I've seen in here usually have messages. Avoid fear and confront worthy opponent. Death is precious. No turning back. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was a bit. That was a funny bit that I did. I threw that for the for the vine. Let's give that a real shot. Thank you, Andy. Press the button. Okay. Wouldn't let me roll. Press the buttons and the game decided no. Like I'm pressing the the block button. That stab I don't think is a Mikuri when he when he stabs like he puts his blade up next to his head and stabs forward. I don't think you can Mikuri that. I think I'm just supposed to avoid that. The yellow bar is posture. So it's basically their stance. Um if it fills, your stance breaks. And if an enemy stance breaks. Uh, I can one-hit kill them. If mine breaks, I'm open for an attack. See? 
敵の Okay. So I think when he's okay, but I can I do anything, please? When I'm that close, he does a very fast attack that I don't think I can adequately counter in any ma in any matter. But I'm not really sure how to bait out the sword stomp. Okay, so we did the spin that time and not. Okay. There we go. That's the, that's the stab. Not exactly sure how to bait it, but... This first bar is pretty much done. It w okay, buddy. You gotta give me... A moment or two after an attack to fucking breathe. There we go. Pressed block, but okay. 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 So every hit there were hits I was blocking, and the game said, no, actually, you don't block those. infuriating things about sucking at a at a game like this right is knowing for a fact that sometimes you are going to struggle on a boss that is incredibly easy you know and then you're gonna get on the internet someone's gonna shame you for not successfully defeating a really easy boss. That's always my concern with a with a souls like is the idea that like I'm bad at a boss that is considered easy by the community. You know, like Pinwheel in Dark Souls 1. It's a raid! Oh, goodness! Rarnix with the raid. Hi, everybody. It's me. It's Tim. I am Tim.K. I am a satyr, which is a fancy way of saying Goatman. 
and I'll make sure to give you a big <laughs> make sure to give you a big shout out here, Nix. Helps if I spell your name correctly. Oh, you're doing some 14. How was that going? Jumping into some new content? <laughs> we rated just at the right time. Yeah, for the past two hours, I've been slapping my face against uh, Sword Saint Ishin. Got caught up on MSQ. Good. You, uh... You went to hell. Oh, Alright, one arrow. Not the end of the world. That kind of is. Yeah, Zero is very cute. So to catch people up to speed who don't know who I am, I'm I'm a variety game streamer who is a, not very good at a variety of games. <laughs> um, In the stream, we fought my dad. We fought uh, Owl Father. Every time I say that, I want to say, Who art in heaven? We also fought big air quotes, fought Demon of Hatred. <laughs> I did a speedrun strat to skip a boss. And now we're on the final boss of the game. Reincarnated spirit of the brave nation state of Ashina. Currently losing its war against the Ministry, which fan theories have pointed to the Ministry being the Tokugawa Shogunate. <laughs> Be by plume. I just saw that. Oh, both work. Gonna lurk for a little bit. Understandable. You just finished a stream. Take a moment or two to unwind. Shit. I disagree.
There we go. A phase two. Whoop! Yeah, he was doing the big whirlwind thing. I should have known! <clears throat> Alright. Just gotta get those blade stomps in! I want a gun! Yeah, I have a robot arm, but... I want a gun! Oh, right, he's gonna do that! Yeah, okay. Honestly, in this game, like... The funniest thing about it is that when I first played this game, my context on Souls likes was exclusively shit. It was exclusively shit. It was a Jedi Fallen Order. And in that game, because you are, you know, a Jedi with a lightsaber, you can deflect blasters with your lightsaber. And I assumed in this game, the first gun-toting enemy I fought, that I could deflect bullets with <laughs> my block. Which would be dope as hell. But it'd also be a little OP. Oh, it was the spin attack, not the stab. I was waiting for the stab. Oh, the spin! Get up. No! <laughs> I do want to play uh, Jedi Fallen Order on stream at some point. Ah, creaky boy. <laughs> Might play that next. Uh, it's a... Uh... It's EA, so it should be on EA Access. That game is fun because it's like, you uh, go into it assuming that it's gonna be a Dark Souls clone and then it ends up being Uncharted with lightsaber fights. I didn't jump. It's fine. Trying to learn what is okay. What is and isn't counterable. That was such a clean phase one. Get up. 
Come on. That's what I was waiting for. That's what it's all about, baby! Yeah, baby! Oh, God! Okay. That was an accident, but hey, it's damage. To me. Alright, my stance broke, but that's good because it resets. As long as I don't get hit! I'm a god. Oh, you did the spinny, not the stab. Might be better for my posture to sit up straight and to avoid that big shot instead of blocking it. Like, sidestepping it was probably the intended path on that one. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on! Go play! Run, 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 run. Okay. Do lightning. Thank you. I jumped. I was supposed to stomp on his head and I didn't. I fucked that one up. <laughs> yeah! It's over. My shame. Immortality severed. You've defeated many extraordinary foes, who can now be faced in memory as a series of consecutive battles. Nope! A gauntlet of strength can now be accessed via the Sculptor's Idol menu. Confronting memories of the past is akin to the discovery of new possibilities. Gauntlet strength divine air path has been unlocked. Severance. Holy shit. Hey, real quick. I'm going to go save. Yeah, the boss rush mode was a thing they added post-launch as, like, a big update. And it was actually pretty sick. One who returns from the great beyond does so at the peak of their prosperity. Ishin coveted strength and all manner of techniques throughout his mortal struggle. He wished for war until his final hour, and that is precisely what he got.
chat, not only did we beat the game and beat all bosses in the Immortal Severance, we have all the methods to get the true ending. I can give him the Divine Dragon's Tears, the Divine Dragon's Tears, and the Ever Blossom, or the Divine Dragon's Tears and the Frozen Tears. Wow, look at all those bits! Big congrats on winning. Thank you so much, Andy. We're going to give him the Frozen Tears. Because that's the one that gives uh, the Dragon's Return the ending. Yippee! I'm shaking, dude. <laughs> I did it. So, our goal now... <laughs> you can relax. Yeah, my whole body just, like, collapsed. We're gonna be... Sending the Divine Dragon back to where he came from. At least in theory. My understanding is that this is like one of the hardest endings to get. It's like the quote unquote true ending. Sayonara, Mina. Watashiwa, Ikaneba Narimasen. Varera no Inga, Tachikiru Tamen. Oh my god. とても長い旅になります。それでも共に来てくださるのですか。はい。ありがとう。龍の忍びよ。忍び of the dragon. クロードのも喜んでおります。So, Kuro lives as part of her, I guess. And they head west to the birthplace of the Divine Dragon, which, according to Vati Vidya and a couple of other, uh, like, theory YouTube channels, the assumption when they talk about the west is Korea, because the sword that the dragon uses is based on a uh, Korean-designed sword. There's a lot of more reasons for it, but... Yeah, we did it. We got, yeah, Dragon's Homecoming. We got the return ending. Where is the credits roll? You get an ad. You want to start playthrough 2 now. If you choose not to start playthrough 2 now, you can may do so at the dilapidated temple at any time. So we're not going to right now. Another's memory, Ashina. Memories left behind by another. Concentrate on these inmost regrets or obsessions at a sculpture's idol to change the wolf's appearance. Wait, what? That's sick! Yo! That's 
That's so cool! <laughs> oh, this looks amazing! Oh, I love the cape. And the hood. I thought you could only get the outfits from the gauntlet. Huh. Shows that I know. But yeah, holy shit. Done that. Oh, food up it. I, I I did it, guys. And now I don't know what to do. I could do a second playthrough and do Shura, which is the bad ending, where you fight less bosses. But I don't want to. Because <laughs> I did... Uh, I did the hardest ending in the game. I fuck cleared it. And I beat every boss along the way. If I wanted to get Man Without Equal, which is the achievement for fighting every boss, I would have to do playthrough 2 and get Ashura. So what's Dragon Flash look like? That's cool. <laughs> I think, I think I've had my fill of Sekiro, though. I've proven that I've gone back to this game after struggling, and I beat it. Now you can do bullshit boss attacks. <laughs> exactly. If you finish the boss rush modes, you actually get some really good uh, combat art attacks as well. But, you know, it's that... It's that wonderful thing in video games where the stuff you want is uh, the stuff that you unlock after you beat the game and you don't need it anymore. But anyway, yeah, no, I've had my absolute fill. I am mentally drained. Holy shit. Hey, well, let's go bug my friend uh, Lily, the Trans Queen of Salt, because I haven't raided her in a while. She's playing a uh, Gundam game, which is less stressful than this. Oh my goodness. 18% <clears throat> of players have achieved Dragon's Homecoming. I'm proud. <laughs> I am proud. After quitting that game in frustration. I've returned to it, and I beat it, and I beat Elden Ring to 100% completion. I'm a real fucking gamer, guys. Guess I have to play through the old Dark Souls games now, huh? Well, I gotta buy them first, but yeah, I think that's next on the docket. All right, I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> You're right, I don't have to. I've proven myself as a real gamer by beating Desert Bus, so... <laughs> You know, I've come... I've come so far. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> anyway. Um, this upcoming Tuesday, Halo Infinite might be dropping some new content, so I'm going to be checking that out. Uh, however, the rest of the schedule is going to be pretty much this. You've come... Uh, the rest of the schedule is pretty much going to be the same. We're going to be doing some near Replicant on Wednesday. Uh... Probably some Splatoon, some Rumbleverse. Definitely some Rumbleverse. But I think I'm going to be taking a break on Sundays for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for hanging out with me, for sitting through my struggles. And I just appreciate all of you so much. Have a good night. Or else. And thank you for watching.